Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. As we do notice that we do have a program called WPS Office that is somehow installed on your computers. So it's a pretty much a good program that can be used to edit stuff, Word documents, spreadsheets, and presentations, stuff like that. But it can also be a problem later on if you're trying to open up documents and you know that you paid for Microsoft Office or you got it from free from like school or from business or something like that. And somehow when you open up the files, it wants to go to WPS Office, then pretty much we understand. On this way, we're going to be showing you how to uninstall WPS Office in Windows 11. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do, you can pretty much go to start and there's many different ways you can uninstall this. You can go to, you know, you can search for it. And if I'm correct, we can just go to WPS Office and we can pretty much just right click on it and select, I think, uninstall. Pretty much that simple. And it takes us to location right here. But in case if yours is just somehow just being mixed around, you don't see it, then we're pretty much going to be showing you another couple ways. So from right here on the search bar, you can pretty much go to settings and you get the point. We're going to get to settings there. We also can just right click and go to I'll start menu. And go to settings, get you to the same spot too. And when we get to there, we're going to choose apps. And then we're going to go to installed apps. And give a little second until your programs are going to load up. And we're going to scroll down until you see WPS Office. When you get to WPS Office, go to the right side. And select the three dots. And you'll pretty much says, click the uninstall. And this will pretty much come up. For the time being, I'm going to go ahead and press no. We do get some odd issues sometimes whenever Windows doesn't want to show it that it's here. So in case it's not there, another option, you can pretty much go to the search bar. Or the start, doesn't really matter. And we're going to go ahead and type in control panel. I just typed in control and control panel came up. I can X that out. And then we're going to pretty much going to go to programs. And uninstall program or programs and features. We're pretty much going to the same place. And look for your WPS office. From there you can press uninstall and you'll probably be prompted the same way and press yes. Now if for some reason if neither of them are being shown, you can probably just look the location where you have it from and select properties, open file locations. And this is the pretty much the program. And you get the point. If it's having problems, you can probably honestly you can probably just delete it from the folder here. But it seems it installed underneath your app dot underneath your user from local. And that can probably do some of the problems for you out of the way in case it doesn't want to uninstall. But regardless, that's your couple of ways so you can get to it. By default, if everything goes good, you should pretty much just go to settings and select the WPS office, select the three dots, and press uninstall. And press uninstall again because it tells you all the files will be uninstalled. And you'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes. And then it tells you, are you sure you want to remove WPS from your computer? And you can say other reasons. I can just say like I paid for Office. And press uninstall. Do not clear. And this pretty much tells you you want to clear data when uninstalling. Do not clear data to reinstall WPS later. Or you can clear data to ensure security privacy. I would honestly select the clear data and ensure your security and privacy data. So it will pretty much delete the whole program. And let it do its own work. Now the uninstalling doesn't seem as taking as much long it did whenever I had to install it because it did take a little bit longer. But I'll see how long it takes until it's to restart the computer or not. No, it pretty much did pretty much remove. I'm going to refresh this again. WPS is gone. And it does seem that it disappeared from the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and go to the start menu. And I'm pretty much going to go to all apps. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And I don't see WPS. So I think we are pretty much good. And we shouldn't have this program anymore. Thanks everyone for watching this video. And I will see you on the next. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest I will see you on the next video.